Hey 20-somethings, so the theme for this week's videos are books and on my personal channel I talk a lot about them and I review them and prepare yourself for a long video. Let's get started. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to present some books that like kind of got me into reading like this specific genre type of thing. The first series that I remember reading as a kid was Harry Potter and these are like my original copies that I've owned and they're very beat up as you can tell so they're very well loved and I just I love the Harry Potter series. Up until this year I had only read up to Harry Potter and The Prisoner of Azkaban so now I'm on the final book. I haven't finished it yet. My goal is to finish the whole series this year, hopefully. I owe it to the series that kind of started my reading journey. Another book that I remember reading like a lot when I was younger because I was just like obsessed with dragons for a long time and that is Aragon by Christopher Paolini. For a long, long time, this was all I could read. I never finished the series only because I got tired of like waiting for the books and I never picked up like the last one. I hope to like pick this up later and to kind of get like a newer perspective since I think the last time I read this was in high school. So this next book that I'm going to talk about is called Twilight which I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about and basically that book is what kind of started or what kind of got me into reading again because for some reason I kind of stepped off of the reading train for a while and then when I picked up Twilight in high school, I might have been a freshman, I started reading again and I just fell in love with the whole like reading train again and I wanted to be in other worlds again. I've always thought that I've been weird for this but I've had like this unnatural obsession sort of with the holocaust like i've always wanted to learn more about the holocaust and it's just one of those points in history that was like so horrible and like all of these things happened to you know these people the jewish and you know it's just like a lot and for some reason i've been like really really obsessed with that so a book that i really like fell in love with is called sarah's key by tatiana de rosnay and this book I just remember falling in love with and there's another book that I read in high school I might have been a sophomore I can't remember the name of it but that one kind of got me into my obsession with the Holocaust and this book I think was also um, like a very good turning point for me and it's just it's so good and I recommend you guys read this if it's something you're interested in so this book was one I picked up sort of on a whim because I saw it in a library cell and when I read this I fell in love and that is A Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini. So this book is basically set I think in Afghanistan but I just like I fell in love with this book so much because it tells kind of the story of like these two kids who come from very different worlds. One is kind of set in like the, I guess, richer sort of aspect of life and the other works for his family with his dad so he's poor and he kind of serves his family but they are still friends and they become friends and then it kind of also goes into like their adulthood and kind of what happens to each of them and I don't know like this book is just amazing it's been a few years since I picked it up but god when I read it last like I just fell in love and honestly if you haven't picked this up I really recommend you pick this up because it just I think opens your eyes towards like a different culture me personally I had never read a book that was set in like Afghanistan before so I literally know nothing of like that type of culture this was just very well written and I honestly need to read more of his works the last book that also has to deal with like 
different cultures and just like a culture that's different to my own was A Girl in Translation by Jean Kwok. I actually had the very great time of interviewing Miss Kwok and she was just great and I actually read this kind of late because I had this book on my bookshelf for the longest time but when I finally decided to read it I loved it. I read this I think my junior year in university so I was 19 when I first picked this up no I was 20 when I picked this up so this I love this and I really recommend you pick this up if you're looking for a more diverse read because it honestly offers a different perspective on kind of being an American but when you're an immigrant this one is I think a Chinese immigrant who moves to the United States when she was young I believe in California and her mom is you know completely like set in her you know ways in her type of culture if that makes sense and this book was just great and Jean Kwok is amazing too I know she has other works so just because it's me I know that this video is or was super long so I hope you guys enjoyed this video no matter how long it was and I hope to see you guys next Tuesday for the next video that I'm gonna post up so I'll see you guys later bye